enlightenment and individuality what happens enlightenment is transcendence of mind consciousness mind conscious unconscious and subconscious transcendence beyond all the layers of the mind and then one dissolves in the ocean of life into the universe into nothingness yet still when different masters speak there is a difference in their reason means how does this happen ordinary human being is not conscious he operates through unconscious mind even his conscious mind is unconscious and he has no individuality only he has a personality there is a vast difference between personality and individuality personality is that which is given to you by the society by others by parents by teachers by the priest and so on and so forth and whatever they have said to you that forms a thin layer and you act according to that someone is conditioned into hindu scriptures the other is conditioned into islamic scripture so on and so forth that becomes your way a thin layer and you speak out of that you have been doing things which are appreciated by the society and society grows on rewarding you respecting you more and more this is the way personality is created we are all conditioned into one way or the other but personality is a very thin layer is skin deep it is not your nature when a child is born he is born without a personality as an individual you will smile only with those people who you know who do favors to you if you see a bandit with a gun in your hair in his hand in front of you would you smile as an adult in front of him but an infant will smile even in that situation this is the nature and as an individual you are guided by fear at that moment this is the outcome of personality but you are not born with this this is not your nature there is a potential individuality the potential individuality simply means his uniqueness from everybody else he is different from the other so first thing is to be remembered that there is a difference between individuality and personality when you draw personality you discover individuality and only individuals can become enlightened personality in a way refers to the realm of nafs the ego sense and we are all guided by this ego sense and we forget that we are part of one cosmic harmony we are bound to each other by a causeless force we are all alone the false cannot become the ultimate realization of truth only true can meet the only same can meet the same your individuality is existential when your individuality blossoms only then you can become one with the whole then how can you remain an individual the problem is simply a not understanding the experience of becoming the whole is of consciousness it is the consciousness which attains to totality the awareness the awakening the experience of becoming whole one with the cosmos 
For what Sufis use the term fana is that of consciousness and the expression that happens is this ex experience of consciousness being one with the whole is of the body is beyond body and mind or we can say body mind is structure that consciousness is beyond body mind and it is the consciousness which assumes the cosmic nature it is the consciousness that dissolves in the ocean of life when one becomes absolutely silent one goes in the state of ultimate meditation or samadhi he reaches the fourth state and this is and in that state he realizes he is neither body nor the mind there is only silence and he is ever the body and mind pure consciousness this pure consciousness is universal just as light is cosmic but there is a difference the light is one but the instrument through which light manifests itself are myriad they are made because of a certain purpose the bulb can be blue can be green can be red the shape of the bulb may differ and when the same cosmic light manifests through a red bulb it reflects the red light so on and so forth the bulbs are made in a particular shape color and design for a specific purposes christmas bulbs are much smaller they have another facility that they blink the ordinary house bulbs do not have that facility this is the individuality which has been created around a particular bulb so when that light the cosmic light manifests through this there is a different illumination when rays of light passes through prism we see different colors the body and mind realm are still there you have studied medicine you are a doctor now or in any other profession you had a class of 40 50 people each one of you was taught in the same way each one of you given awarded a degree printed on the same paper with the same contents except the change of name then you enter into private practice and each day you have to use that awareness of medical profession that you have learned in your own individual way depending on the patient that you have to deal with the medium of instruction in the medical profession is english but if someone has to go in an area which is spanish or french or a hindi area he has to use that understanding that awareness that knowledge that way of his profession and express it into the language which is easily understandable by the people french spanish hindi or german this is because of the individual individuality comes you are specialized in a particular language particular style and you are using that to express the experience of total and that is where the each master is unique in his own way and he expresses the ultimate truth in his own way simple thing when you take the water or cup or tea in different kind of vessels in cups of different shapes and design it is identified by that name 
but the tea has been made in one teapot and poured into different contents. It looks different, but the inner taste is the same. So too, when you go to the different masters, and if you are aware of the innerness, you are connected to the master, to his consciousness, through his tavachya, then you will not find a difference between Sheikh Nazimadu or Sheikh Hisham Kabani or Shah Bahauddin Lakshman or Hazrat Mujadid Alifsani or Buddha or anyone else. The outer expression will be different. And that outer expression is because of the individuality of the body-mind realm. There have been now, when this, in the silence that you have experienced within, how this has to be ex explained, how this has to be communed. His expression requires the body-mind realm. And the mechanism, his expression is going to be different from other realized people. It is not that he wants to be different. He has a different mechanism and he can only come through that mechanism to you. I can come to you in my own mechanism, in my own way, than anyone else for that. There have been enlightened painters, they have never spoken because word was not their art. They have painted and their paintings are totally different from ordinary paintings, even of the great painters. Even the greatest master painters are unconscious people. What they paint reflects their unconsciousness, be it Picasso or anyone else. But if a realized man paints, then his painting has a totally different beauty. It is not only a painting, instead it is a message. It has a meaning to be discovered. The meaning has been given in code. Because man was capable only of painting, so his painting is a code of his expression of the experience of totality. The deeper you go into those paintings, the more you will find the meaning. Other paintings are just flat. They may be made by master painters, but they are all flat. The paintings made by a, by a realized person are multidimensional. They are not flat. They want to say something to you, but painting is their way and they can only say it in that way. Kabir was a poet. Whatsoever he said, he said in the form of and whatever he has said, no one can dare to say. The, he says contradictory things. The fire in the ocean. Fire in the ocean is not the way of expression. Or fish has climbed the tree. How can fish climb the tree? This is known as paradox. Kabir speaks in paradox. If the man is articulate in his speaking, the unspeakable, then he speaks, but his words will have a totally different impact. The same words are used by everybody, but they do not have the same impact because they do not carry the same energy. They do not come from the same source. Man of experience, man of awareness brings that awareness that energy field to his words. They are not dry. They are not the words of an orator or a speaker or a politician. He may not know the art of speaking, but no orator can do what he can do with the words. He can transform people just through their hearing, just by being in presence of him just by letting his words reign over you, you will feel a transformation, a different kind of energy happening, a new being born in you, and you are reborn. 
So when I say that even enlightened people have individual, I mean they remain unique even after enlightenment because of the body-mind structure. Buddha speaks in one way, Mahavir speaks in another, Chonsu speaks in absurd stories. He is such a great storyteller, but his stories side by side go on playing with him. Because the purpose of the masters, whichever way they speak, parables, stories, coal, or anything else, the purpose is to bring your energy from head to the heart. These stories are so absurd that your mind cannot do anything. For example, a simple question I ask you, which came first, egg or chicken? It is not a question that can be solved by the head. You can go on in the logic of all kinds. Chicken came first. If chicken is not there, how can egg come? And if egg is not there, how can chicken come? Simple thing is this, neither the egg nor the chicken comes. Customer comes first, then he decides whatever he wants. As long as you are full of mind, you cannot answer this question. You cannot answer the question in that way. Because you are conditioned in a particular way. Chicken gives egg, cow gives milk. Name a single creature that gives both milk and egg. Now you will be looking into an animal. The creature as animal, I ask you, name the single creature that gives milk and egg both. Chicken gives egg, cow gives milk. Simple, we are all known. But who is that creature? You will not look beyond the animal kingdom. It is the man in the supermarket that gives you both egg and chicken. Only a man of heart can answer questions like these. Chong Su's stories were like that, absurd. The stories are so absurd that your mind cannot do anything. That is the reason why he has chosen these stories to be absurd. So that your mind cannot come in between. With his absurd stories, he stops his mind. He, he stops your mind. And then his presence is available to your heart. You can drink the wine he has brought for you. And he has put your mind away. That is why it is said in the Sufi poetry. When mind is put to sleep, then there is a faculty that develops, awakens in you. Many people have pondered why Chong Su writes such absurd stories. But no one has been able to explain the fact that simple reason people have been thinking about why he is writing these stories which have no idea that it is a device to make the mind stop functioning then you are available fully available from your heart you can be connected in one way but buddha cannot tell such absurd stories he is his body mind realm is unique and different than that of chongsu he uses parables but they are very meaningful. He does not want to avoid the mind. These are the uniqueness of the people, of the masters. He wants mind to be convinced and then through that conviction of the mind, he wants to take you to your heart. If mind is convinced, it gives way. And Buddha's parables, his discourses are all logical. The mind has to give we sooner or later. For example, when Mahakashyap became the Buddha's disciple and was given the name of Mahakashyap, he was a great Hindu saint. He came and he asked, what is the, you say that experience is more important and what is the use of the scriptures? The scriptures say this and that and so. They were on the bank of the river, Buddha asked. And he said, if you have to cross over to the other side of the river, what are the ways and means? Mahakashyap said, one is, if the river is shallow, you can walk through. If you know swimming and the range distance is not too far, you can swim through. If boat is available, 
you can sail through the boat buddha asked if the person does not want to do either of these three things instead sitting on this bank he want to do his zikr he want to do his namaz five times namaz or chant his mantras or sing his psalms would he be able to reach to the other side makashet said no buddha convinced his mind so much that he immediately fell at his feet and asked to be initiated different masters for example jalaluddin rumi did nothing but whirling he became enlightened after 36 hours of continuous whirling without any stop people will go have their meals come back and watch jalal whirling continuously without a stop he whirled for 36 and in fact every child likes to whirl going round and round but parents stop them think, saying that you may fall you may feel nauseated you may feel giddy after 36 hours of continuous whirling he was able to discover his center rumi became absolutely clear about his center that was his experience of the ultimate default then his whole life he was not doing anything but teaching whirling to people it would look absurd to a buddhist it will look absurd to any other religion because what you can get out of whirling it is a simple method the simplest of all but it may not suit you for example things like these happen in the life of all the masters we are individually different from other and there is no contradiction one can experience the universe universality the cosmic nature and yet the question of expression arises how to express that but that which you have experienced be it in the field of the world or beyond has to be expressed in expressed only then others can understand and this can be experienced only through the realm of body mind and body mind is a unique realm and that's where the individuality